Recently, there was a huge announcement regarding the House of the Dragon. When will the show be released? What did George R.R. R. Martin say about House of the Dragon? What are we likely to see in House of the Dragon? Stick around till the end. We'll tell you all you need to know. Release date. Recently, HBO announced that the spin-off TV series to Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon, will be released on August 21st, 2022. Fans have been waiting for over three years for developments on this show. In addition, it seems like George R.R. R. Martin is excited about what he has seen so far about House of the Dragon. He stated, What I have seen, I have loved. I'm eager to see more. Costs. Next, let us look at what we know about the cost of each episode. Media reports tell us that HBO is spending under $20 million per episode for the first season. It seems like HBO gained expertise from producing shows like Westworld and His Dark Materials on how to use their budget efficient. Now, the final season of Game of Thrones, Season 8, had a $90 million budget. There were six episodes, so that comes down to $15 million per episode. The final season of Game of Thrones had extensive CGI and action scenes featuring many sets and extras. In addition, the main cast was paid extremely well by the final season for their appearances. Further, the first season of Game of Thrones cost roughly $6 million per episode in season one and rose to $15 million for the show's eighth and final season. However, the show's low budget Budget meant that a lot of scenes were cut. The Battle of Blackwater Bay was supposed to show Tyrion Lannister leading men into battle, but since they were short on funds, they had him knocked out even before the action started, and then he woke up at the end of the battle. One of the reasons for the $15 million per episode budget could be that the show will feature a lot of dragons. In Game of Thrones, there were only three dragons. Towards the end, we were down to just one dragon. The show had to limit the appearances of direwolves just to stay within budget and have enough money for dragons. In comparison, the upcoming The Lord of the Rings TV series, The Rings of Power, is said to cost around $465 million, which comes to around $60 million per episode. But according to news reports, the hefty price tag includes startup costs for launching the series, and this cost would be spread out over multiple seasons. What we know so far. Now let's look at what we know so far about House of the Dragon. The prequel is set 300 years before the events of Game of Thrones. In November 2018, George R.R. R. Martin told us that there could be a potential spin-off series that was based on material in the book Fire and Blood. Martin and Ryan Condal set out to work on the prequel, and by 2019, the show House of Dragon received a pilot order from HBO. Condal and Miguel Sapochnik were selected to serve as showrunners. Miguel Sapochnik has directed many standout episodes of Game of Thrones, including The Battle of the Bastards. The first season started started filming in early 2021. The show was primarily filmed in the United Kingdom. There were scenes in Spain, Portugal, and California. By February 2022, HBO confirmed that House of the Dragon had finished production. What is unique about House of the Dragon? You may be wondering, what is so special about House of the Dragon? Let's take a look at that. In Game of Thrones, House Targaryen is a fallen dynasty with only two members left alive. And by the end of the show, there are no Targaryens left. House of the Dragon Dragon gives us a deep dive into the history of House Targaryen, and the show will begin with the Targaryens at the height of their powers. What does this mean for us? Well, first off, it means more dragons. In Game of Thrones, dragons have gone extinct, and the birth of three new dragons makes Daenerys Targaryen a major political force. But a long time before that, there were more than just three dragons. When House of the Dragon begins, there are many dragons in the world, and they are all under the control of House Targaryen. This show revolves around a conflict known as the Dance of the Dragons, which is the Targaryen Civil War. The show will start off with the reign of King Viserys Targaryen I, and then go into the events that led to the Dance of the Dragons. It will also feature the war between the successors of Viserys Targaryen, Aegon II, and his half-sister Rhaenyra for the throne. So we are likely to see scenes of dragons fighting each other during the Civil War. These dragon fights and Civil War will set the backdrop for what sets up the Game of Thrones, which is the fall of House Targaryen. One way of looking at things is that the Game of Thrones is the fallout of the decline of House Targaryen. Every major storyline in that show has been influenced by the decline of the Targaryen family. And this is why House of the Dragon is important. It tells us how the Civil War or the Dance of the Dragons seriously weakened them and made the Targaryens vulnerable enough that a few hundred years later, they were deposed. House High 
Hightower. Another exciting development in House of the Dragon is the introduction of House Hightower. HBO has released updated descriptions for the two main Hightower characters who would be in House of the Dragon. First, there is Alicent Hightower, who is played by Olivia Cook. She is said to be a comely woman, but she possesses both a courtly grace and a keen political acumen. Next, there is Otto Hightower, played by Rice Ifans. Otto Hightower is the hand of the king. He is loyal and faithfully serves both his king and his realm. However, he views Daemon Targaryen, who is the king's brother and heir to the throne, as the greatest threat to the realm. The Hightowers are from Old Town, which is in the Reach. It was the biggest and most significant settlement on the continent before King's Landing was built. It still remains the cultural center of Westeros. Old Town also has the Citadel, which is where the Order of the Maesters is based. It also has the Starry Sept, which used to be the largest sept for the new gods before it was supplanted by the Great Sept of Baelor in King's Landing. House Hightower lives in a tower, which is, to nobody's surprise, called Hightower. It is a simple castle with an enormous lighthouse atop. It is considered one of the major wonders of the world. However, House Hightower wasn't a powerful house. The Reach was controlled by House Gardner and later by House Tyrell. In the era of the Dance of the Dragons, their fortunes are seemingly ready for a change due to the presence of Otto Hightower and Alicent Hightower in King's Landing. So it is likely we'll see how House Hightower makes a power play during the Dance of Dragons and the consequences. What about the Starks, Lannisters, and Baratheons? The next question on our minds would be whether the Starks, Baratheons, and Lannisters would be making an appearance in this show. That sentiment is understandable, since, for a large portion of the Game of Thrones, the central conflict of the show revolves around the bad blood between the Starks, Baratheons, and Lannisters. House Stark is not very significant in the period covered by the House of the Dragon. Their presence is only in the background of the Dance of the Dragons. We know that the Starks ally with Rhaenyra Targaryen and she makes an appearance in the show, so we may see some involvement from House Stark. In addition, Cragen Stark, the Lord of Winterfell, serves as the Hand of the King for a short period. Similarly, House Tully would have a limited role. They do get involved in the Dance of Dragons, but they aren't important characters in the show. House Baratheon is somewhat irrelevant before the Dance of the Dragons. In fact, their rise to power is one of the consequences of the Dance of the Dragons, so it's unlikely we'll see much Baratheon action. Similarly, we may not see much of House Martell since they refuse to participate in the Dance of the Dragons. We know for sure that House Lannister will play an important role in House of the Dragon. Two Lannisters have been confirmed for the main cast, with actor Jefferson Hall portraying both Jason Lannister, the Lord of Casterly Rock, and his sly, politically-minded twin, Tyland Lannister. It seems like their political decisions on who to bring back during the Targaryen Civil War will be an important plotline of the show. It goes without saying that the chances of characters from Game of Thrones, like the Wildlings, Children of the Forest, and White Walkers, are next to none. The show has its hands full with human and dragon-related conflict. And that's a wrap. We are super excited to see House of the Dragon release this summer. What are you looking forward to in this show? Who do you think will be a fan favorite character? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.